Good morning, I'm Major Elizabeth Schloven, and today I will be presenting a new concept of using machine learning for targeted behavior analysis as an indications and warning system. Behaviors have consequences, a familiar term for any parent attempting to raise decent children. The concept of this term is similar to Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest remains at rest until acted upon by an external force. Once an action occurs, so does a consequence. In Newton's case, an object will move, but in the case of behavior, a consequence follows, whether intentional or not. Behavior analysis indicates that not only do behaviors have consequences, but they have antecedents as well. If all behaviors have antecedents, then it follows that all behaviors are predictable, even if the consequences are not. While human behavior is incredibly complex, Artificial intelligence has the potential to help detect patterns in human behavior that are imperceptible to humans themselves. The impact this could have on military indications and warnings is unfathomable. This presentation will explore the potential use of AI in detecting behavioral patterns in adversary and rogue state leaders to provide a whole new level of indications and warnings. What if behavior analysis could be used as a political military intervention tool to avoid an international crisis? Identifying antecedents that precipitate negative behaviors could help the U.S. avoid costly consequences from failed policy decisions. In the construct of foreign policy, behavior is synonymous with decision making, while emotion is the driver in both cases. In fact, Emotions constitute powerful and predictable drivers of decision-making, making an AI program well-suited for deciphering which emotions drive which types of decisions in leaders whose currently unpredictable behaviors are a cause of concern to national security. A recent analysis of the impact of emotions on decision-making determined that specific emotions carry specific action tendencies. The conclusion of this analysis was that conscious and unconscious decision-making could be modeled with some exceptions. The idea that emotions drive decisions also accounts for individual attempts to overcome emotions in decision-making, but research indicates that emotion cannot be completely removed from the decision-making process, even with countermeasures in place. For this reason, an AI program will always be able to perform with some level of success in detecting emotion-based decisions, given the right model. The model you see here serves as a starting point, but this presentation explores other variables that will need to be calculated in the algorithm to make it successful, particularly the role types of emotions have, as well as data sets for language and behaviors. Similar to the emotions and decision-making example, Applied Behavior Analysis, ABA, operates under the ABC principle, antecedent, behavior, consequence. While ABA is used mainly to treat children on the autism spectrum, the study of behavior through functional analysis is widely used across many disciplines. The general idea is that behavior analysts determine what an individual's antecedents are in respect to undesired behaviors in order to remove the antecedents or change the resulting behaviors associated with specific antecedents. Applied to a political military setting, if the U.S. could determine the antecedents to undesired behaviors of adversarial or rogue state leaders, it could potentially avoid consequences that would cause an escalation of force or increased tensions. For example, if an AI program were able to predict the antecedents for Kim Jong-un to escalate nuclear weapons testing, the U.S. could de-escalate the situation before it occurs. Another key concept in behavior analysis is that all behaviors have functions, just like emotion-based decision-making functions may occur on the subconscious level. The four functions of behavior are categorized as attention, either positive or negative. Escape, such as running away from a difficult situation or escaping a dangerous situation like drowning. 
tangibles such as receiving some sort of reward like receiving payment for working and automatic or sensory such as endorphins received from exercise. Determining the functions of behavior, whether in children with autism, criminals in the judicial system, or world leaders with access to nuclear launch codes is very important in reducing risky behaviors before they occur. The reason the ABA process is so effective is because it tracks data over extended periods of time to include antecedents and behaviors functions of behaviors, how long a behavior lasts, as well as the extremity of behavior, either mild, moderate, or severe. This data is the type of data that would be really useful in a program that determines extreme or even moderately concerning behavior of adversary or rogue state leaders. The data sets that would be used in a political military program would likely consist of things like speeches, social media, written communication, and even facial expressions and body language pulled from photos and videos. These types of data require their own unique processing, but are all what would be considered antecedent data. A study conducted by Université de Montréal last year used AI machine learning to interpret behavior data captured through applied behavior analysis. The researchers assumed the models would perform well, but were surprised by the model's accuracy. Not only did the conclusions drawn by the models match the interpretations of experts, but the models produced more accurate conclusions on novel data. This evidence suggests that machine learning models used for targeted behavior analysis will be really successful even in assessing behaviors linked to new situations. The second grouping of data would consist of events. For training purposes, the events would consist of positive, neutral, and negative events, all with weighted values relating to the level of severity of the event. On this graph, for example, I've given weights to each event with a nuclear event having the highest weight of 5, while a positive announcement and travel have a low weight of 1. For this data set, reinforcement learning would likely be the best model for training, since the behavior patterns that lead up to negative events are unknown. The machine will need to explore the behaviors presented in the first data grouping to associate the dates of the behaviors with the dates of the negative events looking for patterns that precipitate negative events. The program would be able to infer the functions of the behaviors, creating a tendency profile for individual leaders that would help the prediction model determine which behaviors are most likely to occur based on specific emotions. The algorithms will help determine such things as the impacts of sanctions on leaders who violate treaties and international restrictions helping to discern if sanctions are resulting in the desired behavior of reducing volatile or illegal actions, or if the sanctions are increasing volatile behavior based on an emotional decision-making model. The model would be able to infer the function of the behavior, helping U.S. decision-makers work towards better solutions to resolve unwanted consequences. Seeking out the causes of extreme behaviors in adversary and rogue state leaders can help in determining what actions or antecedents cause leaders to behave in such ways. Counterterrorism organizations have been pursuing a similar line of research in detecting extremist sentiments on social media platforms. The word this presentation proposes looking at many aspects of individual leaders, Research in the social media arena is centered on many unknown individuals in one specific context. One proposed framework looks at classifying tweets and social media posts in the binary classes of extremist and non-extremist through deep learning sentiment analysis techniques. This framework uses the IBM Watson API Tone Analyzer to detect emotionally charged 
posts, and tweets that would fall under the extremist category. By categorizing extremist sentiments, counterterrorism organizations are able to identify which individuals are most likely linked with terrorist organizations and can analyze their social networks to develop a relatively accurate potential threat network. This research illustrates the success in sentiment detection on social media platforms, which can reasonably be applied to any written communication, specifically speeches, social media posts, and statements given by adversary and rogue state leaders. Additional AI applications, such as body language analysis, will be especially beneficial in connecting emotions to behavior for predictive analysis. However, the data pool for an individual would be too small for a training model, so datasets of individuals with similar culture and sentiments will need to be included to train the model. For a leader like Kim Jong-un, written communication from his father, sister, and other relations can be included as well as his close advisors, though data from North Korea would be in limited supply due to their limited communications. One research area that shows a lot of potential in detecting sentiments of an individual is the area of detecting emotions through automatic facial expression recognition. Facial expression recognition models can be trained broadly on large sets of data to increase accuracy of performance. Though facial expressions can even vary by race, age, and gender, which should be considered in data curating. Although research varies on how many basic emotions are expressed, the tridimensional model shown here includes a time perspective dimension that will be beneficial in assessing emotion-based decision-making of adversary and rogue state leaders in relation to what is happening in any given period of time. For example, decisions that occur immediately after new sanctions are imposed will likely have a direct emotion-based correlation to the sanctions. A 2019 study of zebrafish behavior through the use of AI showed AI's potential in determining even imperceptible behavioral patterns. The study used high-speed cameras to detect the fish's body movements, revealing three main components of prey capture behavior, orientation, approach, and capture. The most intriguing aspect of this study is that the AI algorithms were able to detect movements imperceptible to the human eye. What may be the most important result of the study is that when the prey was simulated with a dot and subsequently removed, the zebrafish immediately ended their pursuit. This implies that without the reward present, the behavior stops, which is very similar to the concept of ABA. Behaviors have functions, either to gain a reward or avoid a consequence, where once the function is removed, the behavior ceases. This implication is crucial in highlighting the success an AI behavioral analysis program would have in predicting extreme behaviors of adversary and rogue state leaders. This graph depicts a visual representation of the proposed model's outputs. The color of each dot depicts the valence of the emotion detected while the color of the outline depicts the emotion's relation to time. The y-axis indicates the intensity of the emotion or event, while the x-axis indicates the date of the event. Here we have a positive event that is relatively low in intensity, immediately followed by a positive emotion about the past. We can infer here that the positive emotion is directly related to the positive event due to the timing. But this correlation is what we want the model to draw out. Next, we have a neutral emotion, followed by a neutral event, followed by a neutral emotion. All of a sudden, we have a negative emotion about the present followed by a strong positive emotion about the future, leading up to a negative high-intensity event. 
As I play out the rest of these, you should see a pattern emerge. I've circled the pattern of emotions leading up to the two negative events to show what the predictive model would be looking for. So this is a very simplified graphic of what the model would actually do. You'll notice that there is a window of time between the last detected emotion and the negative event in both cases. The window of time is what we can refer to as the window of intervention. This window is the amount of time the U.S. has to intervene through one of its instruments of national power to prevent an event from occurring. In this graph, the window is approximately 15 days. While 15 days may not seem like much, it is plenty of time to enact preventative measures that will ultimately create a much more stable environment than relying solely on reactive measures. In conclusion, the use of AI in predicting what is currently deemed unpredictable behavior in adversary and rogue state leaders has untapped potential in preventing future escalation of force and increased tensions internationally. The data sets associated with behavior are measurable, detectable, and predictable given the right tools, such as facial expression recognition and tone analyzers. In fact, behavior analysis is a rapidly expanding field in AI, particularly in the area of consumer trend analysis. The use of emotions and behavior in influencing others has also been an expanding field, which is why Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, has been wildly successful since its publication in 1998, leading to many follow-on books. Harnessing the power of behavior intervention through diplomacy and influence by predicting adversary tendencies could help the U.S. avoid future military interventions on a large scale, while avoiding damaging tactics such as sanctions that fail to elicit the intended responses. And if diplomacy is not a suitable intervention, for example, a predicted nuclear launch, Military intervention will have the advantage of time for actions on the objective. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the Innovation Summit today.